guys welcome back to my channel this morning it's early here so this morning i am going to check out this new palette from huda beauty i'm just gonna put up i went ahead and do my base and i just want to put a little powder down this is that new pure powder and if you've seen it get ready with me isn't that like so cool and if you have any kind of texture you are trying to like disguise this for some reason that little sponge does amazing and because i'm not big on beauty blenders and whatnot but today we're going to talk nudes it took me a little while to do this because mine came broken this is it here i have used it a couple times and those colors oh my god that purple is just like if you guys know me in purples, look at that. That is like so pretty. Now I'm going to be walking around with that on my hand all day. Anyway, I found a new primer for my eyes. This is the Natasha Denona um, Eye Primer in Light. And it just seems to be the perfect color to just kind of blend um, into my skin tone. I don't like, you know, to look like real white i don't like to white out my eyes a lot unless i'm doing like a real like crazy heavier look then yeah i will i am going to take a little bit of powder though i'm just gonna grab my huda my huda powder in lavender and i'm just gonna take a little fluffy brush and i did not set my eyes but i am gonna go ahead and set i like to set my crease and just using a lighter, I like this lavender powder to set it because it, it does help kind of just give a, a nice base and it doesn't like add any color to it. There we go. Just the crease, I leave the lids tacky. And that seems, it really seems to help when you're using um, shimmers and even mattes, you know, they just kind of stick a little better. That done, I'm just going to grab my number 15 Kylie brush. I love this brush. And actually, if you notice it, I've actually reshaped it. I left it on the shaper a little too long, but it'll puff back out like it always does. And I'm going to go into this color right here. And this is not a first impression. I have actually been using this as kind of my, my daily makeup. I've been wearing this the past probably three or four days. I've just been loving it. I've had a lot of compliments on this too. The girls in Sephora always say something about my eye makeup. I'm just going to go into this color right here. I don't, the colors aren't on the pans and my eyes are so bad. I'm not gonna try to go back there, but you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm gonna deepen just that crease area. I am usually hit or miss with these Huda palettes. Um, I didn't like the little neon palette. I got the, I think it's the pink and I got the orange and I was not happy with them. Just to kind of round that out. The um, shimmers in this are, are nice. I like to use my finger for them. So I'm gonna take this purple with my finger and just press that on that outer corner. I have been doing it that way and really liking it because it gives you so much of a more of a punch and I'm going to go into this lighter color and I'm going to bring that right here on the inner I'm going to just grab my Mac 242 and I'm going to go into that same color and just to kind of clean up the edge I'm just it's just taking it dry there is a lot of kickback with this color and a lot of fallout so i went ahead and put that down i'm gonna take the little white lies in a uh, pink wink wink <laughs> what a color huh and i'm going to go ahead and grab that i like to go ahead and just put it on the back of my hand i'm gonna take my mac 242 and just dip into that and i'm gonna put that right on that center I'm 
just to give it a little pop in that center part of the eye. Yeah, that just adds just the tiniest bit. This is a really neat color. See, it's got a white base, but it's got it's very, very shimmery. It's almost like an iridescent -y kind of shimmer to it. And I like to just kind of pick it up and pat it right there on the center of the lid. Just to give it a little, see, it just adds that little bit of shimmer. Anyway, now I have been liking to use something different. You can use, you know, any of these on the lower lash line. I have kind of brought that down, but I have been kind of liking taking something a little darker and putting it on my lower lash line. And usually I've been grabbing to like a darker kind of purpley color. So let me grab that and I'll be right back. One of my absolute favorite colors to use on the lower lash line is from the um, Pat McGrath, this dark kind of purpley color right here. I love, and this is the from the In Invita Rose palette i got lucky and sephora actually actually marked these down by accident i've heard and i got all of them they marked they were like half price but that purple is like to die for and i love putting that across my lower lash line with a pink look like this it just really it just really brings that to life and i've been really enjoying using more of a shimmer on my lower lid. This is more of kind of a satin. And my dogs are going crazy. We can even kind of bring that up into a little wing. This color reminds me of the Jeffree Star Mystery Palette color that came out. I don't know, it had two colors in it. One was um Soul Sucker, which I got in my mystery box, if you haven't seen my video on that yet. <laughs> the other one is Zombie Kiss, and I had to have it. I got it. I actually bought it offline for my birthday. People were really just going crazy with the price of that. Uh, it was selling for anywhere from like $40 all the way up to... At first, it started out like $40, and people realized that how rare it was because it wasn't in every... Um, of the larger palettes. It wasn't in every one. It was like in every five, I think, is the way it looked. But anyway, that is the eye look. I am going to finish my face and I will be right back. And I am back. I went ahead and finished my face. I did pick up this. This is from Ciate London and it is the Marble Light. It is an illuminating foundation powder and I wanted to try this out I haven't tried it out it's very pretty it's kind of a it reminds me of like the skin finish almost you can't really see it there almost like the skin finish from MAC I wanted to try to buff with it and see oh actually that just brings everything nicely together they call it an illuminating foundation powder but oh that just brought everything really pretty together I have grabbed the Samantha March highlighter from Ofra. Yo six brush. And I'm just gonna swirl that around and go ahead and just do a little bit of highlighting. Just put the areas that we want to kind of come forward and right here. And what are we gonna do with these lips today? This is my favorite lip liner, and that's that pillow talk from um Charlotte Tilbury's. This is the perfect, like, just everybody lip liner. I haven't seen anybody that this doesn't look good on. It almost blends in with everybody's lips. Okay, this is Mocha Licious from Wet n Wild. One day I can't find the gloss I want to use. This is one of the little samples from the Tarte H2O glass. These are so pretty. And this, it, uh, this one is called Fiji. This is so pretty. I like to put this kind of right in the middle. See, that just picks up so pretty. Makes your lips look nice and juicy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!